No, I am sorry. But this will not work. We already know this won't work, but you know, Paragon! Paragon! It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. The neutron purge. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Neutron purge? I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once give me give on, us a minute. We'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> he is so typically Russian. Uh, it's kind of funny. Right, let's go in here. This is where the neutron purge is. Okay, there isn't anything. We just let's go. I have full access to the facility and then at your disposal. The new how many rack nine are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate estimate. Account. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. <sighs> are there crew survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, nope, not is anymore. On the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the situation the report? Facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional but has not been armed. I need the neutron purge. The neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. Resolve sound what exactly spinal. What does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Ouch! Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Nah, just a pleasant afternoon in the sun for a. <laughs> the purge is lethal to all known forms of. Shut up. Last thing I need is a virtual wench <laughs> questioning my fitness. <laughs> oh my god, I love Activate Rex. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Mumble something. Watch this. Uh, six, Emperor. <laughs> <coughs> that is not the correct code. Please repeat the security for arrest and attack. Worth the shot. <laughs> Worth a shot. I love that. Who would have those codes? <coughs> Try. Uh, no? I'm sorry, but it'd be hilarious if that worked. Just be like, try it, Semper. <coughs> that is the correct code. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can imagine that for sure, but oh, shit. Um, I think now's a good time to go ahead and save. Because I don't know if I can save in a little bit. But, uh, all right, let's go talk to Yar Oslev Tartar Karp. Shy. How do I trigger the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then the destruction code. Okay. Uh. Uh. What? Oh! 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 Crap! Oh! I kind of liked him too. I mean, he, he, he was decent, but oh, crap! Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay. Shoot. Right. Alright, we can go ahead and save again. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. You guys, you guys probably guess that this is not gonna be as easy as you think. We're gonna actually have to run like hell. Initiate the neutron purge. Blah, blah, blah. What? 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 Director of Operations, <sighs> logging you out. Damn it. You fucking kidding me. Ah! Oh, I have to go check his body. Ah! Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. Um, where's his body? Oh, it's over here! Neutron purge code. Yay! I didn't know I had to go grab the code. If I had known, I would have grabbed it. Then again, I wouldn't have wasted the time right there. Um, hopefully I can make it through this one round. Go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use Metagel one more time. Online. How can I help Activate initiate the neutron, the neutron purge? I'm sorry, but I can't I have the code. without proper code authorization. 
Code input 875020079. Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution. 120 seconds? What? What? Okay, we have like two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. And a bunch of rack night. Oh crap. Teammates, go forth! <laughs> ow, ow, I'm dying. Of course Gareth's gonna die in like five minutes. I probably should just ran. And Rex is down. Okay! Ron Shepard! <laughs> Run! Run! Oh! <laughs> I took my head set with me too. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay! Word of advice, everybody! Just run! Just book it. It's better that way. Just book it. Yay! <clears throat> right, um, I'm gonna go get the neutron pur purge code again. Cause, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Let's see how many failed outtakes this is gonna take. It should be me, like, running. Yee, run! Ah, oh, I died. It's too bad you can't play as Krogan, because then if you're a Krogan, you just be like, RUN! And then you can have that little comical stanza, like, um... I'm sorry, but code it okay! Um... RUN! Shepard! RUN! 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 Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running! Guys, what is it? <laughs> oh man, that was close. Oh man, Shepard, you okay? You okay, Shep? Oh man, that was close. I mean, look at my teammates, they're completely fine. I'm not, though. I'm just like, I'm kind of dying here. Let's go. Cool. Do I have immunity? Yes, I do. I probably should have used that, shouldn't I? Herpeter! Metagel! Yay! Thank you, Metagel. Alright! We can leave now. I'm gonna put my gun away, because I don't need it. Yay! Let's leave! I don't want to come back here ever again! Right, guys! That was no very, uh, yeah! So it got really loud in this last part of the set. Sorry about that. I hope I it was not too loud. It only took me, like, three sets to complete all this. It's okay. It's okay. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Perfectly fine. <laughs> right, 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 right. Never going back to Novara again. Oh, and we have a little Head team in the relay. Oh, not so fast. Systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander's right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tassoni? They're the matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind of expert on the protein? Yeah, right. Yeah. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will too. At the very least, we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster to find her. Nope. We're going to Pharaoh. Pharaoh's. Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Calm down. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Ashley. Look, this is it's a okay. tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone, go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Ashley, you're kind of testing my patience here. Away, just saying you're in your racism. Yeah. Yes. Talk why not? Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate? Council members, hi. <laughs> How you doing? <clears throat> what? What? What I do? Oh, did, did I? I, I yes, I did. I believe I did. They won't. This queen is different. I know what I'm doing. I'm not stupid. Had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be, we'll be fine, for report, Commander. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yay! Plus, 
Paragon plus two. Whew, I am so glad to be done with that mission, guys. You would not believe. All right. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the remainder of this set to um. It'll probably be another video, but I'm gonna use the remainder of this set to go ahead and uh. Oops. If anyone Talk has to, to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having nine. They're on our side. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Some Aliens on the ship. Presley, I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should sneeze. be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. Never turn away help. Asking for help is a sign Never mind. Weakness. Not gonna sneeze. That's I don't know. I never know if I'm gonna sneeze or when no I'm not. How strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Okay. Carry on. Goodbye. Presley. Carry yes, on, Presley. I was actually trying to activate this codex thing. Did I already get it? Oh, up oh, there it is. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, episode to talk to my teammates. Because you can talk to them now, again. Joker has something to say. Oh, Ooh, look outside. <laughs> Boy, am I right, glad let's talk to, to Joker. Off of no barrier. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With <laughs> all due respect, man. <laughs> Alright, bye. Alright, see ya. Alright, see ya. I like talking to everybody. I like having a good relationship with all my teammates because I don't know, it makes me feel better. And uh, honestly, the teen your teammates have a lot to say. And they're really cool people actually. I I I'm a huge RPG person because I like games with good storylines. So, that's the reason why I can't really play games like um Ooh, Plunge Mad Gel, definitely. Uh, I can't play games like Call of Duty or Modern War. Uh, Call of Duty and Modern Warfare are the same thing. I don't know what the hell I'm on. Um, Call of Duty or. Um, I can play Halo because it's got interesting elements to it. it. It does. The story mode does have an interesting element. I'm not. It's just not much for multiplayer games, I guess. I'll play games like um, Left 4 Dead, though, because it's got zombies. You're not just shooting each other, you're shooting zombies. It's a bit of a difference, I guess. Kaden, hey, uh, leave me alone. Commander, do you have a minute? Uh, I'm listening. I make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay, or who knows where. But we can't get backup from the council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't. I hear you. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature. I'd call it human nature, but... It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. And it's funny. Especially the Asari. I mean, think about it. The Asari lived for thousands... A thousand years. don't even seem impressed by the... I don't know how long they actually live, but they live for a very... Well, Cute way to look at it. We were romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure man's future in space? Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid with a hero goes to space to prove right himself now, worthy justice. of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Well, maybe I was a romantic at the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, I'm sorry. Biotic information. <laughs> brain camp? I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Your hair reminds me of Elvis. Sorry if I got too informed. Protocol wasn't a big focus back then. That's all right. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation. You still remind me of Elvis. The kids they hauled in was brain cancer. Sorry, all day is unkind. Anybody else want to put him in an we Elvis costume? To commit to an evaluation of our abilities so it <laughs> understands. Start of singing. <laughs> I'd pay to see that actually. It's the brain tumor some kids grew up with. You doubt it was accidental? You some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suit show up at your door after school, and next
next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump, Jump Zero. Zero. Is the Garen Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination chart. Outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were Friends. other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that would get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform, and the Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extra map to prevent leaks. Time to talk then. Plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming, so beautiful, but not stuck up about it, like you. Sounds like she was special what? to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Intentional you know exposures. Intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It's fairly obvious that if they found something so good, like such as bi biotic Anything abilities and telekinesis, you're going to get intentional exposures. I mean, think about it, guys. Outposts, but in a military weapon that can just quick. automatically... Something as big as that? Well, yeah. They're, you're going to have people who are going to use it for... Wrong, it, it's just human nature. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief. Not a bull session about stuff that happened. I'm interested. I want to know my crew. There, I'm not actually. I understand now. I won't let you down. Yeah. You uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? To some degree, I can't. Peric Renegade. What do you yeah. think? No, I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process. I'm not flirting with you. Yeah. I just don't want to pick the renegade option. <laughs> I can't afford the renegade points. Ooh, Shepard's Locker. Open, open, open him. <laughs> Only pistols. Only pistols? What? What? That sounded like barking, probably, but... What? I don't want freaking pistols. I want a sniper rifle. A really hot and awesome and got drop down sexy sniper rifle that can blow up Geth's faces in a matter of 2.03 seconds and take down a charging Krogan and stop it in its tracks and prevent it from regenerating so I can say regenerate that bitch but no Garrus You and Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? <laughs> That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Such as... Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. Wanted to help people. Why are you wearing blue? I have you in red. To do too. He was You're supposed to be in red. I grew up here Carrion? I can understand that. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reason. A Spectre? You were asked to be a Spectre. Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre count. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't mind it. He despises the Spectres. <laughs> Daddy's boy. <laughs> having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, C-Sex rules. If you want 
you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Not true. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. See, see, you have the option you to... You have the option to meld Garrus. Because he is a developing personality. And as a developing personality, you can meld him in a way you want. And for now, I am kind of building Garrus to understand that he shouldn't take impulse decisions and that he needs to think of things for supplies? as good and not just be like I don't like Let's being got. taken down and around. restricted on things but in truth what I'm doing for him is teaching him that it's not that bad and yeah things are not good but damn it looking for supplies Let's see what you've got. But you what I'm trying to do is uh, mold him into a, I guess, a paragon Turian, I guess. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. He's becoming paragon, basically. That's what I'm at least attempting to do. Let's talk to Rex. So Rex! We've got Sarah yeah, we do. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. <laughs> but I'm He's better. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew Saren? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Saren recruiting? Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. <laughs> he was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Investigate. What kind of cargo, cargo. was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship, ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. I mean, yeah. Guards. What do you expect? It's Rex. That's the only That's time it? you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't <laughs> joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Wow. Okay, long, I see. Shepard. Let's go talk to Ashley. Commander. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're not Alliance? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust you don't aliens. Trust the allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We 
humanity. I mean, we have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies. Means standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. How cynical. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel this? Why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth centrists as our own. <laughs> just shut up now. Your service. It sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the service garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. You deserve better. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Military family. I lost my family on Mendoir. Are you related to anyone I've heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read about Mendoir. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. Should have had a bigger garrison. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? No. To see space. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. <laughs> gold breaking? Had Gunny Ellison. He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapog boot camp, too? Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like <laughs> and pusillanimous. All right. I understand your feelings. Your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian? Really? I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. How are we doing? What's your opinion? You never know, mission? Commander. <laughs> Looks so very garrous. Uh huh. years ago, I think it was a mistake to let them go, but that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. Yep, it was you my know, call. When we pick up that Asari scientist. We'll have to tell her we killed her mom. That's going to suck. That's gonna suck. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying, Commander. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am. Yeah, we get to tell her that. Alright. Let's go talk to Tali, see what she's wanting. Tali! Hold on, hold on, examine. Yay! Tali! Hello! You sound down. Are you okay? Ah! I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Oh, Tolly! You're part of the family! Out of place. Don't feel down. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's... I, find I like the silence. Place. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. You're homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them, but maybe they just wanted a different life. But you're going back, right? To return to the migrant fleet, right? 
I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, oh, that's true. I might not have a home to go back to. Alright, goodbye. Go. See you later. Right, guys, that's everybody we can talk to something unless Engineer Adams right. has something. Carry nope. on, Adams. Aye, aye. Nope, Engineer Adams has nothing to talk about. Alright then, uh, I'll see you guys later as we play more Mass Effect and go do another bout of side missions. Yay! Alright, if you guys like my stuff and like my videos and you like playing Mass Effect, please inform me of such and leave me a nice comment or whatever and tell me and if you think there are things that I can improve on by all means tell me I do not mind if there's something I missed must examine must examine okay <laughs> until next time everybody I'm Nexion LX and this is Mass Effect I will see you all in the next set bye <laughs>